okay so going back into it we have our game plan our game plan fantastic so what we're going to do is now fill it in okay we're going to fill in our game plan so finally video six we're going to go from celsius to fahrenheit I ideally you've already seen this equation um or you can look it up okay celsius celsius if we can spell it right to Fahrenheit and so I'm gonna take this C as my variable and I'm gonna return okay return C times 9 divided by 5 plus 32 okay easy that's it all right and I can do the opposite define a function fair Ren height to Celsius and give it F. Okay. Colon. Nice to give it have it that give us a red if it's in, if it's wrong. Return F minus thirty-two plus five divided by nine. Okay, so now we have our functions to convert. Okay, so let's go into the while loop. What we want to do is be able to print out the options for the users. Okay, for the user. So I'm going to press pause. I'm just going to, you're going to see it in, in two seconds or right now. Um, but the issue is I forgot something and I'm going to take that as a learn, as a, as a learning point, right? Because in this situation, like I said earlier, we need to have a while loop. Okay, it needs to keep asking the user to select an option until they make the choice. Okay, and so I need a while loop. Okay, and so watch this. So this is nice to actually see. While well, I do this while loop, I'm gonna say while true, we've done it in the past, I'm gonna have errors. Okay, this is an error because this needs to be indented as if, not as if, it's within the while loop. So I'm gonna dent that and then the error goes away. Okay, so while true, show this. So if I ran this, which I'm not, is going to be in a definite loop because it's always going to be true until it's not. Okay. And so it's not going to, no, nothing's changing it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is then I actually prompt the user to select an option. So again, we're going to do, we're going to call it choice or selection. We'll call it selection. Okay. Selection. Selection is equal to input. Okay, since it's not numeric input, um, choose your conversion, okay, one through two, or three, your exit, your exit, or three, two exit, two exit. Okay, that's great. Fantastic. All right, so what we're going to do is if and again this is it needs to be indented okay indented as well boom okay so that's b so you can like we met we met we mentioned here we're going to check if the user's information is valid okay so here if um selection is equal to three and mind you this is going to be a character because we're not converting this into a number so it's going to still be a character. If it's equal to three, if selection is equal to three, what we're going to do is say print exiting program, exiting program. And then what do you think we should do? If we're going to be done with the program, we should break. We should break. We should break the program. Okay. Um, else else we're done with that we should. so that will be what we place here okay boom then we can because the thing is as soon as it breaks it is no there's no need to it's going to not continue so therefore if this is not true it's just it's going to automatically continue and so if so therefore it's going to check now this if Watch this. Now, this logic is a little bit interesting. I'm going to say if selection is 
not in. So I have a list. This is a list. One, comma, two. Okay. What I'm going to then do is say print. Let me be consistent. Print invalid choice. Okay. Enter one or two for proper conversion. Okay. So the reason, and this needs to be a colon up here. Okay. And the reason why we're doing it this way, not to say selection is one or two, is because we're trying to figure out if anything else is entered, we should, you know, have the user provide the, you know, re, re, restart at the initial while loop and ask the question again, you know, select the valid choice. Okay. So let's make sure that works. It's going to ask us to save. I'm going to say learning video five. It's not try accept. This is the program. Temp conversion. This is video five. Okay. Video five. We hit boom. Yeah. Video six. <laughs> I pressed the wrong one, but I'll fix it. Um, so now if I run this, press three to exit, do it again. All right. So then if I do, let's say F, um, it's going to ask me again to convert, you know, a choice. If I do E, it asks me to convert. But now if I do one, it, this is a nice problem because the thing is we didn't do anything after if it's not one. So once, if, if we did do that, it would then allow us to do that check. So I'm going to do three to break it. Okay. So good. Um, we want to do one more thing. Okay. One more thing. Uh, the next thing that we want to do so that we can then have the continue the loop is to discuss, um, them entering a, 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 a choice. Okay. So what I'll do here is to say a, a conversion. So once they made it the right conversion, well, true, I want to make sure that the number is now correct. That's actually a number. And so this should be tabbed, of course, and it should be tabbed. And we're going to prompt the user. Okay, prompt the user. And this is also where we do to try. Try. And then we're going to prompt the user to provide their temperature. Okay, based on whatever they, they selected, whether it's one or two. Temperature. Okay, and this is going to be a float. We did before. Input. And then what we're going to now do is say enter the tempera temperature to convert. Okay. And then we're going to automatically break this, break out of this while loop. If this is correct, if this, if this works. However, if it's not correct, we're going to do an accept and say, based off of the value, because it's going to be a value error. Okay. Print invalid, invalid input. Please enter number. Okay. So once we do that, this is going to, let's play this real fast. Let's say we do the conversion. It's, you want to do Celsius to Fahrenheit. We enter a number. Let's say we do F. Enter. It's going to say invalid input. Please enter a number. Now, and, and it's going to keep doing that. Say EE invalid input. Enter a number. For now, if I say 35, it's, just prints, it doesn't do anything. Okay. It keeps going. So now we need to actually do the conversion. Finally. Okay. So this is the next video. Thank you for watching.